What's up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King Johnson 84 and today people, I will be talking about the Call of Duty World War 2 Season Pass. So I haven't found any details on the Season Pass, there hasn't been, you know, what's gonna be in it or any DLC maps or anything. Like, so far I have not seen anything on the internet, I try to search it up myself on Google, also on YouTube to see more details and all the people saying like, oh, maybe it could be a weapon pass or oh, it could contain this or that, like, it hasn't been 100% confirmed on anything. But as far as I know, it's always going to be the maps, but they might include something extra to it. So hopefully it is weapons, because, you know, the past few season passes have pretty much been worthless, especially the one in Black Ops 3. That one has to be the biggest steal I've seen in my life. Like, uh, most of the good weapons came out on, on the freaking supply drops. For reals, like, why even bother playing the season pass, the DLC? Because, you know, the, the maps in the DLC and the, the season pass were actually terrible. I mean, come on, we get to play in the water park, like, for reals? And it's literally the same copy and paste map from previous maps, so why even bother picking up the season pass for that game? So it was it was a big waste of money back in the back in Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and also Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Advanced Warfare also got the same treatment, you know, we got supply job weapons and stuff, so it was a big, you know, a big punch in the gut pretty much so hopefully it doesn't happen this year i am really hoping after watching all these videos for about season pass being wep a weapon pass that it's actually gonna make me buy the season pass overall because i haven't bought the season pass in the past two years so that, that, there's that um hopefully the maps also are good as they say they are you know because people are hyping it up like so much they're like jizzing their pants in the video and everything so i'm thinking like well but it better be more than just old school maps because i'm pretty sure sledgehammer games doesn't have any old school maps so far i don't see anything good from advanced warfare at all you know any other maps were not that good except for the clown one there was like an apartment and then there was like a big clown. I forgot that I forgot the map name though, but it was a DLC map. That one was actually pretty good. You know, I actually did enjoy that map a lot. I got a lot of positive uh, gameplays on that one. So um, you know, let's just hope it's not old school maps. Oh, we're gonna bring back Terminal for the hundredth time. Like, come on, man, bring in something back that's better than that. So uh, let's talk about the weapons though that could possibly be on these supply drops. I already talked about it before, like like three months ago. Uh, and I'll say it again, they might add modern weapons. It could be a big blowout because I know a lot of people is going to be like, uh, they're going to be pissed off, and they, but you know, it's going to make me, it's going to make you feel like, oh, you got to pay to win at the same time because it's modern weapons. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to use an M16 on the old school days? And who doesn't want to use an AK 47 or an AK 74U or um, what's another modern weapon? Maybe uh, an Uzi or something. They might bring one of those, you know, weapons in the game in the season pass just to make you buy the season pass because it's going to convince a lot of players like that. And it's, is it going to convince me? Well, they already got me with a weapon pass, so, and they're not going to release any, any weapons on the, on the supply drop, so that's going to make me buy the season pass overall. So, uh, let's just hope they don't release the weapons on the supply drops again. That, that, that was the biggest mistake they've done so far. Um, because if they do, I mean, we're going to have to save up a lot of crypto keys or whatever they want to call it this year, coins, whatever. Uh, whatever in-game currency it's going to be, we're going to have to save up a lot. And the best time to actually save up a lot of those coins or a lot of those you know, in-game currencies will be in the first two months. Because after the first two months, of course, when they start announcing the DLC and everything, they're going to start you know, upping the freaking you know, ante. you got to get more kills to get more coins or whatever. So uh, they did with Black Ops 3. You guys didn't notice. Yeah, I remember I was earning like around 20 crypto keys. 10 crypto keys per gameplay and I was getting like around 40 to 60 kills per gameplay and then all of a sudden when I when they updated that crap on January when it started adding, adding the weapons on the supply drops they lowered the amount of crypto keys you can get now you rarely get like 3 and 6 crypto keys per gameplay and that's even if you get like 80 kills so um, the best time to actually save up an in-game currency will be the first 2 months of the game so you know Polish up those those skills, man, because you gotta use them in the first two months. And I'm saying, you guys, right now, I've been playing every single Call of Duty. Do it. Freaking save up that in-game currency. Do not waste it at all on, on freaking cosmetics. Cosmetics, they're gonna be there forever. Because if you try to open some supply drops right now, they're just gonna give you like a bunch of uh, a bunch of crap like titles and emblems and all that stuff. Like you don't need that. You, those things don't make you don't make you better at all. Save it for the weapons, guys. Save it for the weapons. 
So that is it, guys. I don't want to talk about today about the season pass. I just want to give uh, you know my piece of my mind about this whole situation. There's no details being released yet, but as far as I know, of course they're gonna add maps, but we don't even know they're gonna add the weapon pass too. So uh, that's something to really you know think about right there. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty World War II topics and also gameplay because I do have a lot of gameplay saved up on my PS4. So there might be more gameplay in the background and um especially with this weapon this weapon was a hell of a weapon man i didn't get to use it until like the the last day of the you know the beta because uh, i thought this weapon sucked but after i tested it out a few times and added attachments and everything i mean with the high rapid fire and no suppressor i mean this weapon just makes a good amount of damage it's amazing kind of reminds me of the vesper because of the high rapid fire so let us hit people leave a like on the video and subscribe for more call of duty world war 2